device. In that moment, Greer Garson immediately captured a generation. It's so nice to meet you all, and just a little terrifying. With the success of Goodbye Mr. Chips and an Oscar nomination, her career blossomed, paving the way for more exceptional leading roles. Life is dull. What news? And the brilliant summary, the answer dwells across the sea. You're a dope. Stick to your tomatoes. You've got your answer. A good crack on the jaw do you good. If that would do it, I'd love it. I'd love to look up to a man, but I don't think you hit hard enough. In her sixth film, she would forever leave her mark on cinema. In 1942, as World War II raged on, moviegoers longed for depictions of uplifting heroes, and Greer Garson met their demand. What a dumb we destroy in two hours. And thousands killed. Innocent people. Not innocent. They were against us. Women and children. And we will do the same thing here. You've got no information, Eile. The film was Mrs. Miniver, a patriotic drama about a fearless British mother determined to keep her family safe as the turmoil of war closes in all around them. Her co-star was close friend Walter Pigeon, with whom she would co-star in nine films. British Prime Minister Winston Churchill said the film Mrs. Miniver did more for the war effort than a hundred battleships. Greer's performance is graceful and stoic, yet there is something completely accessible and vulnerable about her. Take, for instance, the scene where she must tell her son that his wife has died. Where is she? Pinti, I want you to try and get a little rest. Where is she? In your room. The house is utterly quiet. And in that extraordinary simplicity, we see Mrs. Miniver remain strong for her son. But as soon as he turns the corner, we see the great pain and heartache she has carried inside her. The role would win her an Academy Award. And for many fans, they believe it's Greer Garson's crowning achievement. But I have to say that her next film, Random Harvest, is my personal favorite. You're staring at me, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. It struck me your hair is bright red in the sunshine. What I wouldn't give to have been Ronald Coleman for just a moment and have Greer Garson look at me that way. He serves as the intellectual essence of the story, and Greer is the heart. It all culminates in the final scene, where Ronald Coleman finds his way back to their house. They realize all the years they've lost, but are overjoyed with hope for the future. It gets me every time. <laughs>